But just as it is written, things which eye has not seen and ear has not heard, and which have not entered the heart of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. So there are, there are some things God has prepared for you, for us, mm-hmm. that, that we haven't seen. He has told us these things are going to happen. But you know what? It's in a, it's in a, it's in a realm that we don't yet fully understand. So just rest in the Lord and rejoice that you, you have a knowledge that you are a joint heir with Christ. If indeed the Spirit of God bears witness that you are a child of God. And if you have overcome and if you have endured. When Paul wrote those words that I just wrote, he didn't actually write them. When Paul wrote those words that I just read, <laughs> okay, I want to tell you that he was specifically talking, if you go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, he said, For I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. That's what I know. I know love by this. For while I was yet a sinner, Jesus Christ died for me, took my place on that cross. I know Christ and him crucified. He who overcomes, I will grant to him to sit down with me on my throne. You know, the word of God is filled with paradox. Mm-hmm. As is apparent par- paradox. A, well, a paradox. apparent. Yeah, paradox. <laughs> a paradox. Okay. okay. When you're poor, then you're rich. Yes. When you're weak, then you're strong. When you die to yourself, you live forever. Okay? Yeah. Well, it's true. Yeah. Like I said, apparent right. paradoxes. So, but to me, this is kind of one of those paradoxes. We're going to sit on the throne. I'm going to bow before him. Mm. Yes. We're going to rule. I'm going to confess that he is Lord, that he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Okay? So, I don't fully understand that, but I'm fully comfortable with it, and I'm fully looking forward to it. So I say, even so, come come Lord Lord Jesus. Jesus. I don't, no, I I don't want to be the boss. I shared with you last, in our last session, that when I got saved, one of the last things on the day that I got saved, I heard the voice of Jesus say to me, you've had your life, now it's mine. I, I am happy with that. I am happy with that. On my desk, I have a little wooden plaque, you know, one of these titles that has my name. It looks very, very formidable. Alan W. McDaniel, Jr. C-E-M-M-I-C-O-A-E. I had to put the initials because it couldn't fit the whole thing on that wooden. <laughs> Otherwise, and, it would have been as long as this table. And you've been asked, what is that? Yes. Chief executive muckety muck in charge of almost everything. <laughs> now, because that's what the flesh wants to be. Mm-hmm. The flesh wants, the pride wants to be exalted. All right? God is calling us to humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord. You know what? He will exalt us if we humble ourselves. We don't have to work at it. We don't have to figure it out. He'll take care of that. I am perfectly comfortable to trust in God's love for me expressed in Jesus Christ. Which letter in there is most important? The A. Almost. Almost. Some people try to say, I'm in charge of everything. The point is, I don't want to be charged for anything. Yeah. You know, it says in Proverbs 3 that not to lean on your own understanding. When you think you're in charge, everything is based on your understanding, okay? What you can figure out. I I enjoy, and I don't know, you know, I was not like this before I was saved. I promise you that's a truth. I, I enjoy being able to trust in somebody who I know to be much smarter than me, who has much greater knowledge than I, who has much greater understanding who knows not only the beginning and where we are right now, but he knows the end of the matter, and that is Jesus Christ. So what a comfort it is to be a disciple and and receive instructions as they are needed and not have to figure it out for myself. 
That's the truth. So what I want to do is, I, that's why we come into God's word and pray that he opens the eyes of our, our heart, that he would give us understanding of what we need to understand right now. And he will. He is faithful. It says in James, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God who gives freely to all men. He will give you that wisdom. He will give you the understanding that you need. He will not withhold any good thing. It says in Romans 8, go back to Paul's letter to Romans. If, if God the Father would give his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross, what good thing would he withhold from us? Nothing. Nothing. So don't get bound up in trying to speculate. Don't get bound up in conjecture about what you're going to be doing, you know, way up then. It'll take care of itself. Yes. You take care of today. Yes. You be faithful in the little things. The Lord will take care of the rest. Absolutely. Amen. There is Search for all eternity long.